you're eating crap. The things that you eat, I would throw away. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to No Egg Crack with his latest video, Full Day of Vegan Bulking. I am bulking as well at the moment, so let's see how it compares to a vegan diet. Let's have a look. This is my go-to breakfast basically Delicious. all year round, whether I'm trying to bulk, cut, maintain, whatever. This is pretty much always what I eat. Blueberry oatmeal with some... Uh, chocolate protein powder, which actually goes better with the blueberry oats than you would think, and then the PB2 powder. Let's see if I have that right there, and then this is the uh, vegan protein. And this is the only way to get some protein on a vegan diet. Powders. When you isolate the protein from the plant, you remove all the healthy fiber, then you can actually absorb something. The reason why plants have a lower biological value is because it is harder to impossible to absorb that protein. Why? Because it is encapsulated within the plant. If you isolate the protein powder, you get around that. This is why all vegan bodybuilders use protein powders to make at least some gains. I'm using from Wegmans, it is like 20 bucks for this whole thing. So it's like the cheapest one that I could find. I'm just going to throw in some soy milk <laughs> and that's breakfast. I'm to enrich it. I'll be the first to admit that when this is all mixed up, it does not look very good. But <laughs> that's what happens when you mix brown and beige with the purple that comes out of the blueberries it just looks kind of gross but yeah. trust me when i say it tastes very good i don't trust you though what would be a full day of eating with no tofu not a vegan one wow so now keep in mind this man is bulking he wants to build muscle right so he thinks by chopping onions bell peppers and tofu he will build muscle imagine that and ramen. <laughs> wow. Aside from this looking super sad and pathetic again, this is too little tofu as well. If you really believe that you're going to extract some meaningful protein out of that tofu, this is too little tofu. How much is that? Maybe 100 grams or so, which is round about 12 grams of protein. That is obviously too little for a meal. That's nothing, man. You're not going to build any muscle. Wow. Uh, all fried and some seed oil, super healthy. Some gluten on if top. If you have never tried toasted sesame oil when making any sort of stir fry or any sort Looks of- Looks very healthy thing, as well. I highly recommend checking it out. Mm. I tried it one time and I was like, forget olive oil. <laughs> this actually adds flavor. Uh, not even any specific brand. I just picked that one up at Wegmans. Um, but speaking of specific brands, this uh, Imi Eats is a high protein vegan ramen company. Mm. Uh, it's pretty cool. They have three <laughs> different flavors. They sent this to me. Um, and if you use No Egg Craig at checkout, you can get free shippings. I don't think you can get this at any store. Um, this one is their Tom Yum Shrimp. I had a, I think it was like a chicken one and like a spicy beef one. They're all vegan though. Spicy honestly. beef, spicy yeah. chicken, spicy shrimp. If you are against animal exploitation, why would you eat something that mimics animal exploitation? Mm -hmm. But yeah, let's try this one out. Before I forget though, I also used soy boy smoked tofu. If you're wondering what that tofu was, I didn't have to marinate. I don't have to say anything. Or anything. Uh, it just came like that. It's definitely more expensive to do that. So if you can do that yourself, then you'll save some money. Uh, but this is the spice packet that uh, the ramen comes with. I haven't done this in a really long time. I feel like maybe I should show you guys the bowl before I mix it all up. Um, but yeah, there's the peppers, onions, uh, mushrooms. I feel like mushrooms are a very political sort of fungus slash vegetable because you either love them or you hate them. <laughs> it's like pineapple on pizza. And I didn't realize just how many toppings I put into this. <laughs> But it's gonna be a good lunch. And I don't own chopsticks. I feel it's not a good lunch at all. Again, you're attempting to bulk. You have too little protein. You don't have any quality carbohydrates in that either. You have no micronutrients. This is why you look the way that you look. <sighs> Confession time. I haven't been completely honest with you guys. I have been eating some things off camera. And I know that is like the ultimate betrayal. But as Randy Bobandi once said, a man's gotta eat. Uh, so I had an apple 
think you guys know what those look like. Those eye circles are really terrible, man. Like, I had some... I made... Forget about bulking for a second. You have to get healthy first. I made some muffins the other day. I did a whole live stream of, like, food prep and stuff. Uh, and I just unfroze... Well, hold on a second. I just unfroze these bad boys. Lemon blueberry muffins. And there's one unthawed one right there. You know, bulking is not an excuse for eating junk food. That's what you do. You're just eating a bunch of junk, expecting to gain muscle. So I had two of those, Whoa. and Insane. I'm about to have this little Quaker baked square thing. Recently, I just carbs, as always. Carbs, 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 more carbs, carbs. Vegans love carbs. In order to build muscle, yes, yeah, sure, you can utilize some carbs, but without protein, you're not going to build any proteins are the building blocks carbohydrates are the workers you need enough energy in order to build a house but without building blocks you're not going to build anything I'm really liking uh these fig newton bar type things are from nature's bakery uh i have not been able to find them though at wegman's near me wow. and every time i go to the store i swear my older sister she finds them every time so and she sends a picture i mean just, eventually she's just gonna have to buy them for me uh but i because i swear i'm, I'm cursed because she'll send a picture of them you're definitely being in cursed stock. and then whenever I go they're out of stock and I send her a picture of a blank shelf and like where are they <laughs> it's like they know that uh, they know when I'm coming and they purposely just hide them or something so mm -hmm. I've had to res uh, resort to that's amazing man this is how men look nowadays absolutely malnourished just ate a block of soy boy tofu his words not mine and now he's telling you that he misses his cookies Wow. Just buying them on Amazon. But I do recommend those Quaker oat bars as well. Yeah. The strawberry one is my favorite. Um, I've had blueberry ones. Those are good. Uh, the apple cinnamon ones are also very good. So uh, in my professional Meat opinion, is also very strawberry good. and apple ones are the best flavors. Apparently I'm full of lies today because it was not the fig bars that I ordered. It was these other bars that honestly look even better. But I did get the company right. It was Nature's Bakery. So... I guess they'll just be irresponsible if I didn't try them, so I'm gonna have to give you guys a review. I'm realizing now that a lot of these orange lights that are hanging up are getting kind of flickering lights, but these orange and purple ones are not. Don't worry about the flickering, man. Mmm, smells good. This is what it looks like. This is the worst what I eat in a day that I've ever seen. Inside. I really like mean this. Package, it looked a little bit better, but... Because it comes with a purpose. He really purposefully eats to build muscle, but eats no protein. It's a little bit wow. cool, that's why I have my hand under here. But uh, these still look good too. The mental illness is on another level in this one. Mm -hmm. Really? Oh, these are definitely better than the fig bars. Mm, I saw delicious. cinnamon was wow. like one of the last You're eating a cookie, man. ingredients. But I really taste the cinnamon. It's a uh, strawberry, yes. cinnamony. Can you show us what to eat in order to build muscle as a vegan? Can you? I can really taste the uh, the filling comes through strong, which is that's good. It's completely that's useless, part. man. I'm oh, going to fast forward. I don't know how you guys eat, but... There's some days where I'll just eat like two, three big meals a day. Other days I'll just sort of graze or days like today where I'll eat two, three big meals plus a bunch of snacks. And it's probably just because I'm trying to eat. Congratulations, man. If you don't have a plan, you're not going to get to your goals. It is that simple. If you want to reach a destination, you need to follow a map. It's very, very simple. If you want to reach a certain look, then you need to follow certain steps. Some days I'm grazing, some days I'm eating two meals. How do you want to get bigger like that? So many calories, but uh, this is crunchy salted almond butter, my absolute favorite from Trader Joe's. Fantastic. This is more aflatoxins, raspberry preserves, not my fa more sugar. favorite, but I thought I'd try it and I, you know, I just got to finish it off. And the bread, the dude, again, you have no protein in that meal. Do you understand that? You have plant oils and sugar. Using, I've actually baked this bread. It's from the Minimalist wow. Baker's bread recipe. I can link it below. And if you've never tried baking your own bread, it's really not as daunting as it sounds. If I can do it, then you can definitely do it. This is actually my second ever workout with a belt and knee sleeve. Let's see the gains. So I have been into lifting since high school and college. Uh, most of that time I was mostly running and I was just sort of using lifting to supplement my running. So I wasn't going to be going very heavy. I was doing it for like a lot of reps and I wasn't about to spend a bunch of money. I would rather spend that money on new running shoes instead of uh, lifting stuff. But now I'm just into lifting. Um, I'll probably do a triathlon again uh, next summer. This is um, absolute the major torture. I like doing triathlons for me at least is just because honestly. What I see here is absolute torture. I've been there myself. At least I ate more protein, plant protein, for what it's worth. But what you do here is training in a state of malnutrition. You are starving. Your body is decaying. You are highly catabolic. In order to be anabolic, you need a positive nitrogen balance. 
That means you have to eat protein every two to three hours in order to stay anabolic. You are the opposite. You are Mr. Catabolic. You are the soy boy. Your body is decaying. It is dying and you are torturing it on top. You're trying to lift heavy weights. Why do you hate yourself? I need some sort of motivation to get out and do cardio. Like I don't need motivation to go to the gym. I, like, I really like going to the gym, um, especially the last couple months when I've been working with a personal trainer uh, because I was using sort of like- <laughs> Personal trainer must be so disappointed. Why isn't he making any gains? Something ain't right. He is working out every other day and apparently follows a diet and he is unable to build muscle anyway. Hey, what are you doing? You told me to eat protein, but not that kind. These cookie cutter plans that you can buy online for like 50 bucks, which is really great when you're first starting out. Uh, but then after a while, I started to plateau. Uh, and then I started working with this personal trainer who has <laughs> to plateau. Really yeah, because now you're making so many gains. A caloric surplus, which I think has definitely been helping out. Uh, and I have meet workout snack. Did you see this? He's eating a cookie during the workout. Vegans are starving. Prove me wrong. Because it's definitely been helping Wow. Out. Uh, and I have also just been doing more volume. I think I just wasn't doing enough volume before. And I think I was resting too little. Uh, so along with all that stuff and him just like helping me out with my form, like I'm still working on my form for a lot of exercises. But in about two months, I've already gained a little over 10 pounds. So I'm gaining a little over a pound a week, which I'm no happy. legs gang. And it's not going to change if you keep on eating like this. Really happy with. And honestly, I haven't really thought about exactly when I'll stop bulking, but it'll probably be like January or February or something like that, because I'm thinking of doing another triathlon in August. And I'll wow. probably want to start looking good for summer so I can take my shirt off and feel good about myself in like mm. uh, June. Or Show us the before after pictures. Let's see the results. Something like that, maybe May. But ideally, in like the most ideal world, uh, I would be able to balloon up to like 190 pounds or so at the end of my bulk. And then maybe if I can cut down to like 170 pounds, that would be like seven pounds of muscle gain. You really believe that you're going to gain seven pounds of muscle by eating cookies? Do you hear yourself? I'm super stoked with that. Wow. This is my first ever time bulking. Um, I did a little bit of like... You're going to be disappointed, man. ...cut this past summer when I was getting ready for the triathlon because I just wanted to be as light as possible for when I was biking up those hills. Sure. But it's been really fun just like trying something new and just trying to add a bunch of muscle and just like seeing my numbers just like fly up in the gym for like bench, squat, <laughs> deadlift, military, press, like everything. He had one plate on each side during squatting. The numbers are just flying up. Vegan logic. The, all the numbers are going wow, up. It's man. just been really exciting every time I go. Did you start with just the bar? The gym. But what let's happened? Let's see what past Craig ate for dinner. As a first time bulker, let me just say, I love bulking. Like, <laughs> this is my dinner. Now, this looks really gross, but that's just yeah. because I butchered this Again. lasagna as I was taking out of the pan. This is like the last of the lasagna. I just, I. I scooped it all at once, and that <laughs> kind of looks like one of those monsters from Rick and Morty. Uh, but it tastes much better. Probably tastes much better. I haven't tried one of those monsters before. Uh, and this is just some classic chili I stole from the onlines, and I just veganized it. Uh, most things are very easy to veganize. I think all I really did, uh, there was like beef broth that I sweat, obviously just swapped out for vegetable broth, super easy. And then it calls for like a pound of... Uh, beef and I just used my favorite alternative <laughs> which is this Trader Joe's stuff so if you have Trader Joe's near you this is great if not anyway, absolutely do, phenomenal I man like that this but uh, then I also have some soy milk of and course I have you a do. little bit of creatine in here which is why I have this so I can stir <laughs> it, just get it all at the bottom and like what the last why thing. eat a steak that has bioavailable creatine no let's rather take soy milk that has a bunch of phytoestrogens and let's sprinkle creatine on top delicious I think that's probably gonna be it maybe I'll have some dessert but this is dinner and I'm super stoked for it nobody knows I'm vegan I think even without this edgy t-shirt people would know. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Absolutely pathetic attempt at building muscle. What should he do? He doesn't know any better. Even though he has the internet at his disposal, he simply fails to recognize that he does not consume anything muscle building. It is quite amazing. The only protein sources 
were tofu, plant protein powder, and mock meats. All of this is horribly unhealthy, and on top of that, it has mediocre protein, which won't build any muscle. On top of that, it's not only the protein, of course, you want to be in a healthy state. As long as your body is healthy, it can focus on other things, for example, building excessive muscle. You need to get healthy first, man. You look like you are dying. Look at the state that you are in. Look at those dark eye circles. Your face is sunken in. You're absolutely pale. You're very, very unhealthy and it's no surprise. You're eating crap. The things that you eat, I would throw away because it is not food. It is simply gunk, processed gunk, seed oils, gluten, isolated proteins. It is not human nutrition you won't make any gains all right guys but this is it for today's video i'm gonna go and eat a steak and actually bulk thank you very much no egg craig if you like the video leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and as always may god bless you all much love and peace